Hello everyone, Saf Tech Reviews back here with another video. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a detailed comparison between two popular 3D printers. Um, the first is the Creality CR10S Pro V2, and I'm comparing that with the newer Bamboo Lab P1S. I've spent some time with uh, both of these printers and I'm excited to share my insights with everyone. So uh, let's dive right in here. First up, the Creality CR10S Pro V2. I bought this printer over a year ago as a beginner. Initially, it seemed perfect for learning 3D printing, but it's more suited for hobbyists. Despite its potential, I faced several issues with this printer. I encountered clogged nozzles several times. Uh, I had troublesome issues with bed leveling. I, uh, even the knobs to adjust the bed beneath the printer have you know, caught up on the wires sometimes, which brought the printer out of level while it was printing. Um, not to mention, I faced a lot of random software glitches where it can't print files because the name is too long, for example, or it would just show that it finished printing without actually printing anything, but it would heat the bed and the nozzle. So, you know, at this price point with tax, it was around $700. I felt that these issues are a bit um, inexcusable for this printer. I mitigated some of them by, uh, you know, installing a Micro Swiss all metal hot end. Um, when it works, it's great. Uh, I've never had it clog on me, but the printer still tends to lose calibration uh, every other print, which is uh, really frustrating. Switching gears to the Bamboo Lab P1S, the experience felt like a night and day difference. The setup was really a breeze with this printer. I didn't need to calibrate anything. Um, I've printed things several times on it, um, you know, without any issues. Um, at all. I've never had to calibrate it. I've never had to do anything. I just turn it on, send whatever I need to send to the printer and it prints it. Never had any issues with it. Um, it also is really good at not causing a mess because it cuts up uh, the excess filament and shoots it out from the back of the printer, which is uh, pretty cool. Um, so really, um, there are some uh, downsides, uh, but I don't really find them um, all that bad. So one of the things is really the screen on the P1S. I know the upgraded model, the X1C has a color screen, uh, but um, this one has a more bland screen even compared to the CR10S Pro V2, but it doesn't really matter because most of your controls for the Bamboo Lab P1S, um, you're gonna control them through the mobile app or just Bamboo Studio, which both are very uh, user-friendly. Uh, I still have some slight issues with the mobile app, uh, which I did uh, want to mention. For starters, um, really, you can't send any like models to the printer through the mobile app. And the only thing you can do really is if you printed something, you can go to your printing history and reprint it from there. So I hope that in a future update, they're able to fix that because these are things you can do through um, the Bamboo uh, Studio app. So I, I would really hope that they um, fix that. Another downside to the P1S I wanted to mention is um, it's a little loud when it prints. It's mostly coming from the motors. It's not really the fans. Uh, I'm going to share a short clip here on what that sounds like. Now let's compare that to the CR10S Pro V2, which I believe is still quite loud while it's not even printing anything. You can hear the fans constantly running on that printer from the moment you switch it on. So here's a short clip of me sharing that. So next up here, uh, I wanted to compare the printing quality between both of these printers. I printed the same model of the Benchy on both these printers. I sliced it in Bamboo Studio for the Bamboo P1S and I sliced it in Cura for the uh, Creality um, CR10S Pro V2. And I made sure to use the standard profile on each. I am using the same filament on each. 
Um, so let's just see how long each one takes and then I will compare the quality at the end uh, between both. So here is the sped up footage of the Creality CR10S Pro V2 printing that Benchy out and then up next will be the Bamboo Lab P1S. So that took about 1 hour and 46 minutes on the CR-10S Pro V2. Next up we will do the print here on the Bamboo Lab P1S. Keep in mind this printer uses a different technology, it's a Core XY printer so it can print a lot faster compared to that uh, older tech on the CR-10S Pro V2. So um, as you can see already in like a third of the time it's already at the same uh, point where the CR-10S Pro V2 was. Uh, I'll be comparing the quality next after this print here wraps up. So the prints are done and our benches are ready. This is the one on the Creality. And moving on next, we will look at the one on the Bamboo. So that's the one that came out on the Bamboo uh, printer and I will be pulling it off here in a second. So the bed that comes with this printer is really excellent. There is some resistance to the print, but when it comes to pulling it off, it's not all that bad, I'm just trying to be careful so I don't damage the print. But yeah, it, it pops right off and uh, I'm able to pull that print out. So you can see the quality is just pretty outstanding um, that came out of this printer. Keep in mind it took a third of the time compared to the other printer and I mean I, I'm struggling to find any issues on this print here. Next up we have the Creality print. Um, trying to pull this off. I'm using the bed that came with the printer and it is really on there. <laughs> it's hard to get off. So um, again, this uh, this was kind of annoying to get off, but I pulled it off and um, I can already see some imperfections in this print. So let's jump into a comparison between both of these prints and uh, let me make some uh, comments here on um, what uh, is different between them and uh, where the Creality fell short. So taking a deeper look to compare both of these, the Creality print is on the right here and you can see there's some bubbling towards the bottom. Um, if you look at the left here to the bamboo one though, it looks very smooth. I don't see any strange artifacting uh, going on with that print. So surprising, the quality is a lot better in that much shorter period of time. Same thing here on the left, you can see that it's very clear on the bottom. And on the right, you see that a lot of uh, strange things happen there. The text is not very clear compared to the one printed by the P1S. Here's another closer look at that Creality print. You could see that um, imperfection that I'm talking about here uh, much more clearly um, in this uh, short clip here. And um, 
Yeah, something with the layering just isn't right. Uh, I've constantly faced issues with this printer uh, that are like that. You really need to tweak it a lot and know exactly what you're doing to get a good print out of it. Uh, it just doesn't work well out of the box. You could see how um, there, there's a lot of strange artifacting going down there also at the bottom of the print. And I mean, you can squeeze out some really good quality out of this printer, but you really have to try a lot. There's a lot of trial and error, there's a lot of issues you're going to run into, but uh, yeah, just seeing how much um, printers have improved, it's, it's crazy uh, to compare it since the printers that were sold uh, back then. So here's the P1S, and I mean, look at how this print came out. It's uh, almost perfect uh, with nothing, no issues. I did not have to tweak anything, I did not have to deal with anything, I just sent the file to the printer and this is what I got and you could see how much of an improvement that is. Not to mention it printed it in a third of the time, so I mean the performance coming out of those bamboo printers is really outstanding. It's, uh, it's not overrated to be honest. And just pulling both models close here to compare them side by side, I mean there's a clear winner. If you could see the difference between the top and the bottom, the bottom one is far more reflective, has far more imperfections than the one on the top. And you really have to ask yourself uh, if it's worth spending all that time trying to um, tweak your printer uh, versus, you know, prototyping and uh, trying different things with your uh, printer with a much more polished experience, like the one that comes on the P1S. So uh, it's very interesting seeing the results between uh, both of these. Uh, you can even see the hole on the top is a bit different in size between both. So really the CR10S Pro V2, although older, highlights how far 3D printing technology has come. The Bamboo Lab P1S at a similar price point really offers a leap in quality uh, and ease of use. Its potential for multicolor printing too with the AMS technology that Bamboo Lab provides uh, makes it a uh, really cool printer to own. Um, let me know if you want more content on the bamboo printer. Uh, thanks for watching, and if you found this helpful, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. It really supports the channel. See you in the next video.